Well, as we celebrate Black History Month, a local Catholic school is honoring a prominent figure in education who greatly impacted not only Baltimore, but the entire nation and beyond. In today's Coffee with, Amy Kawada shares how Mother Mary Lang was recognized yesterday. She's in line to become named the first black saint in the U.S. It's a special day for students and staff at Mother Mary Lane Catholic School in Baltimore. Today is the um, anniversary of Mother Mary Lane's death, so today we'll be having a mass in her honor. In honor of the 140th anniversary of her feast day, Archbishop William Laurie and the Oblate Sisters dedicated and blessed the chapel in the first new Catholic school built by the Archdiocese of Baltimore in nearly 60 years, named after Mother Mary Lane. She's a great pioneer, a great woman of courage, great educator, uh, and uh, I couldn't think of a better role model or a more appropriate person to name the school after. The trailblazing Catholic black woman was born in Santiago, Cuba, and immigrated to Baltimore in the early 1800s. She opened up a little school in her home in Fells Point. Um, by and by, founded a religious order and opened up what is today St. Francis Academy and founded the Oblate Sisters of Providence, the only African American uh, community in, in, in the world. Now, Mother Lang is on the path to becoming the nation's first black saint. She helped a lot of unfortunate people to help them to get the education that they needed, and that is something that I hope to do one day and continues to inspire future generations to follow in her footsteps for years to come. It's very nice to see an African, um, African um, American woman to, pot, to love Jesus and to not let anything stop her, even though all of the adversities that she faced. Reporting for WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada.